So while I've been enjoying doing these honest money makers that are filled with complete nostalgia, I've come to realize something. I'm very hungry. The past four videos, we haven't eaten anything. So for this video, I thought we'd go ahead and catch our own food. Now the last video where we slayed the lesser demon in the wizard's tower really got me thinking about what I did as a kid. And yeah, a good portion of my time was spent here on Karamja fishing lobsters. So for today's video, that is exactly what we're going to be doing. So before we start this moneymaker, we need one very important item, and that is the lobster pot. Now, if we do a price check, we can see that it's about 188 GP on the Grand Exchange, but we can actually go to a fishing shop and buy it for about 20 coins. We can still do better than that, however. Since we have many years of fishing under our belt, we can just head over to the fishing guild and borrow one from there. So now that we've acquired our lobster pot, we just have to find a suitable outfit for this moneymaker. And what better than to use the Spirit Angler's outfit that was released not too long ago. Now not only is this extremely fashionable, but it also gives us some extra fishing XP. We're also bringing the Rada's Blessing 4, which gives us an 8% chance to catch two fish at once, and the Fish Barrel, which allows us to store another inventory of lobsters in it. Now as for where I got the item and the fish barrel, I got it from fighting the mighty Temperos, which is a new fishing boss that was introduced not too long ago. If you're interested in doing it, I think I actually have a guide on my channel, so feel free to check out that video. And with that being said, we can now start the one hour of catching lobsters. So I do realize that since we have the max cape, we could simply use the teleports and not have to pay the money to travel between Karamja and Port Serum, but the custom officers have to make a living too, so we'll be using them as our form of transportation. Now of course this means it's going to cost us a little bit extra, but that's not too big of a deal, and like I said, they have to eat too. Now you are paying 30 coins to go from Karamja to Port Serum to Bank, and then 30 coins to come back, so just keep that in mind. And if for whatever reason you find yourself on Karamja with no money at all, do not panic, there is a way you can make money to get back to the homeland. This guy right here will actually pay you to pick bananas for him. So if you're low on cash, just pick a couple bananas and he'll pay you and you can get on your way home. I gotta say this place brings back a lot of memories, not only the memories of me as a kid fishing lobsters, but also the memories of the birth of this YouTube channel. One of my first videos was actually picking bananas, so this place holds a special place in my heart. If you're interested in watching that video, I'll leave a link to the playlist, which now holds over a hundred episodes, so feel free to check it out. Now I realize that I haven't explained the method to this moneymaker yet, and there's a good reason for that. It's very easy, like shooting fish in a barrel easy, but basically all I do is I go to Karamja, I fish until my inventory is full, and then I take the boat back to Port Serum and bank with the deposit box. After that, I take the boat back here and continue the process all over again. Now, like I said earlier, this was one of my go-to moneymakers as a kid. Uh, I spent a lot of time here. I remember waking up extra early before school to get on my laptop to play this. And uh, yeah, the laptop was actually given out by the school. We all had our own personal laptops for that year. So yeah. So instead of using it to further my education, I used it to train my fishing level. And it wasn't until much after that I realized that there was someone on the island that actually notes your lobster for you if you pay them. Now, I was restricted to free-to-play only, so I don't know if that person was there in free-to-play, but I really hope he wasn't because I could have saved a lot of time by just noting it here on the island. Now, of course, there's much better fishing spots than this one nowadays, but I mean, this series is all about the nostalgia, so I'd rather just do the fishing here. Although we do have some new items that I didn't have back then, like the fishing outfit, of course, but more importantly, the fishing barrel and the Rada's Blessing, which will ultimately make us more GP per hour. If you had told my younger self that one day we'd have an extra inventory of fish that we could carry, or even an outfit that gave us bonus XP, or even the fact that the Rada's Blessing gives us double the fish sometimes, I would have lost my mind. But even crazier than that, if you told me that I was one day gonna be the owner of a Max Cape, I would have thought you were completely insane. Because it wasn't until OSRS that I actually got a 99 in a skill. I definitely put in enough time on RuneScape back in the day to get a 99, but no one really played efficiently back then. It was all about having fun, so yeah. Now, if you really wanted to, you could also bring Spirit Flakes, which are also from Temporos. Spirit Flakes give you a 50% chance of catching two fish at once. 
Now the reason for not bringing them here is because I didn't want to run the risk of poisoning the fish because after all I might be eating them and I would hate to make myself sick. Now I don't know if you've noticed but every time I go to Port Serum there has been somebody that is casting I believe Fire Strike on one of the seagulls and he's having a really tough time killing him. Uh, maybe you'll see him next time that I go back there but um, yeah he was there for the majority of this one hour so I guess that seagull was putting up a pretty good fight. Also, I just want to shout out Runelight for having an amazing client because of the GPU plugin, we can pretty much just one click from this area all the way to the dock. Uh, that's pretty insane. That saves us a lot of clicks. And it really makes you realize how easy and how nice we have it. And one more thing before we go, I just want to point out that Zambo has possibly one of the best fashion scapes that I've ever seen in RuneScape. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where I can get his outfit from. This guy owns his own bar on an island and he's basically just living his best life. Not to mention he has a pretty sweet pink berserker necklace. And with that being said, we have reached the end of the one hour of catching lobsters. We can now go ahead and do a little price check of how much money we made. 349 lobsters for a total value of about 43,000 coins, along with the lobster pot that is worth 188 coins. But the lobster pot doesn't belong to us, I did say that we were borrowing it, so I went back to the fishing guild and returned it. Now I put the lobsters in the GE for the market price of 124 and they instantly sold for a price of about 136 for each one, so we made a little bit more money than we expected. That is definitely a welcome surprise and we'll take every extra GP that we can get. And with this moneymaker done, that brings our total to over 100,000 GP. Such a huge milestone for this series. Now once again, it may not be a lot of money to most of you, but at least it's honest work. So if we take into account the cost of taking the boat 13 times, we can subtract 390 from 47,464 GP, which is how much we made from the lobsters, and that will give us a grand total profit of 47,074 GP. So definitely not a bad amount of money. I think this is actually the most money we've made from a moneymaker in this series so far. And of course, as you saw earlier, that brought our total to 126,029 GP for the entire series so far. I just wanna say thanks for checking out the video and thank you to all of the people who have become channel members with a special thanks to Captain Fat Daddy. Becoming a channel member is one of the best ways to show some extra support and you get some perks along with it too. And once again, thanks for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe even a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.